Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today I will be doing an unboxing and setup of this, the TP-Link Tapo P100. I've got a two-piece set here and these are mini smart Wi-Fi sockets. I've already got a TP-Link CASA socket, however unfortunately these are not compatible with that and these use a separate app. So. I've got two, one to replace my CASA and then the other one I can use in a different situation. That's kind of unfortunate because I only really needed one of these, but that's what happens when manufacturers start changing compatibility. So, oh well, these were only about £25 for two, so not too bad. I think back when I got my CASA, one was about £25, so that isn't too bad really. So on the front of the box, we've got a picture of the device. On this side we have some of the features, so remote control, schedule and timer, voice control if you use Amazon or Google Assistant. Apparently there is easy setup, we will see about that. There is an away mode and apparently it is flame retardant, which is, I suppose, good to know. Although they do recommend not using one of these to try and dampen a fire, which I suppose is kind of common sense, but they've got to say that anyway. On the back, it tells us to start. We need to scan the QR code or download the app. That's available for both iOS and Android. On the other side, there is a few more of the specifications there, such as the model as well as the dimensions. If you want to read that, you can pause that now. But that is it for the box, so now we can open it. I've already taken the plastic off from the box. Okay, so opening up the box, it says thanks for choosing TAPO. And then for your safety, the current should not exceed 13 amps. It also says use carefully and keep dry. I think that is pretty common sense, but they do have to say that thing anyway, just to protect themselves. We then get the quick start guide here. We may need that later. And then we can see the products themselves. Here they are, individually wrapped in plastic. Take the plastic off, and there they are. And that is it for the box. Okay, so here they are. They are actually a lot smaller than I thought. This will be a lot better compared to the CASA plug I already have. Next to an iPhone 8 Plus, that is the size difference there. As you can see, it is very small indeed. So yeah, this should fit exactly where I want them to go. Okay, so I've just downloaded the Tapo app and I opened it. And it's saying, welcome to Tapo. And then it wants my email and password to log into my account. I don't believe I have one of those. I don't think I had to do that for my other one, but I'll give it a go. And if not, I'll just make an account. Turns out I did actually already have an account. So it's logged me into my home and then you can tap to add your devices. But before I do that, I should probably plug the plugs in so then they can be found. Okay, so I have plugged both of them in and there are little lights flashing on them right now. It's quite hard to see, but I will bring my phone back up and we can select the plug. Here it is. Power up your device, plug it in. That's all okay. Check if the LED is blinking orange and green. It's blinking orange, I don't see any green. Okay, so the devices have now been found by my phone. I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi. And there we go, it is now asking for a name for my smart plug. I'm just going to call it Lights because that's what I will be using them for. Then where have you placed this? It's going to be in my office, you can select wherever. I will just keep the standard picture, that's not something that really bothers me much, that will be fine. It's now loading. Okay, it now says almost done, you've configured your Tapo device, make sure you're using the latest firmware for optimum performance. Now we can check the firmware, it is now checking for updates. 
And now, congratulations, your Tapo device is up to date and ready to use. Enjoy. So now we can click Sounds Good. And there we go, we have lights. There you go, I can turn it on and off, but I believe that is only one of the sockets. So now we have to add the second one. So we can go up to Add, go to Smart Plug. Let's see if it can find the second one. It says it has indeed found it and it is now searching for a Wi-Fi network. This is just the exact same process as for the first one. So Wi-Fi again, and I'll come back once I've done this setup. Okay, there we go. I have now set both of them up. There is the first one and there is the second one. And now I'm going to use these with my Google Home. So I'll show how to set that up in just a minute. But if you're happy just using the TP-Link app, there's lots of smart actions which you can set up, such as leave home, arrive home, go to bed and automation. There's lots of things that you can do in there. I'm not interested in any of that. All I want is to be able to ask my Google Home to turn the lights on and off. So these will be perfect for that. So now I'm going to try and set them up with Google Home. Okay, so I have now launched the Google Assistant app. So I'm going to go up to Add, Set Up Device and Works with Google. And then in here we can add new. I've already got a linked device as you can see, TP-Link Casa. So I've just searched in there and I have found Tapo. So we can select that and then link Tapo with Google. That is indeed fine. It's now linking with my Tapo account and assign room. So both of my plugs have indeed come up. Let's assign it to office. We can do that for both of them just like that. Then we can select done and it is assigning both of the devices to my office. And there we go. So we can try saying things to the Google Assistant like turn off the lights, turn on everything and turn on the lights. I understand that and I think that those are now set up. So if I go off that, back, back, back and down to my office, we can see I've got my office speaker and in here we have my office lights, lights and lights. So here are the two office lights, which are the new ones. If you can hear that, they are clicking, saying they are going on and off. So now they are synchronized with the Google Assistant. So what I'm going to do is just plug some things into these and then ask my Google Assistant to turn them on and off and just make sure that they are working. Okay, so I've plugged my recording lights and I've got one on each side of me right now so what I'm going to do is ask my Google Home I might beep out the name so it doesn't trigger everyone else's so let's give this a go turn off the lights and as you can see the lights have indeed gone off so let's turn them back on turn on the lights and there we go, the lights have now come on. So I think that that is pretty much it for this video. I cannot show the setup with Amazon SL because I do not have any SL enabled devices to demonstrate with. So this is now how I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of these on my main setup to control the LEDs there and then the second one to control the rest of the lights in this room. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful and interesting in some way, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.